And welcome back to What If. I actually already uploaded the What If, but it was the What If from yesterday that I didn't get up today. Or that I got up today. I Between doing it and the movie, I just didn't have time to upload it beforehand. Then I was tired as hell when I got home. Uh, Chris Tennyson, though, asked the question, or What if Roshi fought in the fight against the Saiyans? I'm going to tell you right off the bat, nothing's really going to happen. I mean, what if Roshi... Now, if we're going to use that What If... We might as well ask the question, what if Roshi decided to train along with them? We know Roshi had a lot more potential and is still left in him. I mean, thanks to the uh, Tournament of Power. And he's like, thank you for showing that this old man still had, uh, still had a martial arts career ahead of him. And stuff like that. His best days weren't behind him. So, uh, so we know he got stronger. Strong enough that he could at least go, uh, he could at least push back someone like Frost, who was a final form freeze uh, knockoff, essentially. So, the question is, if Roshi decided to train along with them, you know, actually try to make himself relevant again, how well do you think, he, how strong do you think he would have gotten? I mean, like, all the Z fighters took roughly six to eight times power increases, give or take. Roshi, though, Roshi's different. Roshi has a, a hundreds of years more experience on any of them, even Piccolo. So, he probably knew, knows different training methods. Uh, knows other ways to get strong, not just uh, through just the uh, street training they were doing. So, I mean, we know his power was roughly around uh, 139, so to speak. Uh, so, the question would be, where could I see Roshi, at least in just base form, ending up? In base form, I could see him easily taking a 10 times multiplier if he really decided to put his mind to it. That would put him at 1,390. But then you also factor in his... Uh, his super beefed up form, which we know he's strong enough to take out uh, a group of Freeze's gar uh, henchmen, uh, which was or his soldiers, which had a base power of roughly two thousand. Uh, so his power had to have been at least three, oh, three to four thousand to be manhandling those guys pretty easily. So if we uh, argue four thousand, that means hit. Let me have my calculator right here. Uh, that means his power, when he's in that form, which he can't let hold very long, even after training, he could never hold that form for an extended period of time. It was very stamina draining on him. So if you, where's my calculator? There it is. So at one, th if if we even be nice and just say three thousand, at one thirty nine, his which is his suppressed power, his full power then is roughly speaking divided by. 39. It's about 21 times whatever his base is, give or take. And that's assuming the 3,000 number is right. I, good chance it probably isn't. Uh, but this is just my best guess. Um, again, watch Tony Not Mark's uh, power level videos. He did a really good job on those, I felt. Um, and he even corrected himself when he had to correct himself. So when you see Roshi's power, I, I disagree because, uh, with the overall assessment because that was not including the training Roshi ended up doing for tournament power. Uh, so, but roughly speaking, like 21 times whatever his true, whatever his base is. So, hypothetically speaking, if his base is 1,300, um, well, or sorry, excuse me, 1,390, actually would theoretically mean that, uh, give me one second, because it was actually, I just did a times 10, so really just times 10 that, and you get, yeah, around 29,000. Uh, now, here's the thing. I don't know if that math would be right in this case. More likely, Roshi, when maxing out his power, is probably going to be more like... Because he's still human. is probably going to be something more akin to, I don't know, 6,000 or something along those lines. Even though my math said otherwise. Still doesn't sound right in my head that he'd be that strong. So... Let's just say he'd be roughly around 6,000 F full power. So let's say the, the Saiyans show up. Roshi's also there. They read his power levels. Like, actually, he's pretty strong for an old guy. He's able to take out the Saiyan no problem. Uh, and then, you know, Nappa goes, uh, decides to go toe-toe -to all of them. Uh, most of them are getting screwed over. Uh, I think we even see Chiaotzu to bite it. Then Roshi just say, fine! It's like, Hurr! and then just, boof! Uh, and... Right, and then yeah, even they read this power. Like his power just jumped from like almost 1,400 to just around 6,000. He starts wailing on Nappa for a while. Nappa's actually getting his shit kicked out of him. Nappa goes full strength, pushes back Roshi, who eventually can't hold his full form 
much longer. So he just goes all out with a Kamehameha. The final and ultimate Kamehameha! Boom! Blast Nappa. Probably point blank or close to. Nappa survives, but he's... At that point, he's probably missing an arm. He's very badly burnt. Uh, but Roshi, at that point, just eh, falls down. He's collapsed. He's probably dead. Uh, just like what happened in the original... Uh, in Dragon Ball Super Fight, uh, the universe ter the tournament of power fight. He might be might have just died of natural causes at that point. Um, but and Vegeta probably goes off and you know kills, but probably takes out Tien. And yeah, I mean we know Yamcha's dead at this point because <laughs> he died from that Cyberman thing. Uh, but I imagine Piccolo, you know, Roshi gave enough time for Goku to show up, uh, take on Vegeta, which will allow Piccolo to survive. Which means that, but they would still go to Namek, uh, just because they get, need to get Dragon Balls to wish back Roshi and Tien and Chiaotzu, who have already been wished back once. And Yamcha, who's yet to be wished back once, but still. Uh, but, the beauty is, they have the Dragon Balls. Honestly, it didn't even occur to me. I mean, I would guess that the Dragon Balls could possibly wish them to Namek. And then they use the Dragon Balls to wish themselves back. I mean, Bulma could make a ship, but ultimately, I mean... Uh, actually, you know what, I bet they make the ship go to Namek, and then use the Dragon Balls to wish him back if need be. Uh, so, they'll go to Namek, um, Piccolo, Goku, and the gang. Goku's still probably in traction at that point. Uh, but, so he's uh, kind of delayed, so he'll show up with his 90,000 power level. Piccolo is probably trained a little bit, uh, since that point, is probably around 4,000. Gets his inner potential and locked along with Gohan and Krillin. Piccolo, I believe, again, I believe, roughly speaking, it's around an eight times multiplier uh, initially, give or take, which would put Piccolo right around 3,200 or 32,000. Uh, then when the Ginyu show up, he's probably more kicking around, I don't know, 35,000. When his actual power really gets unlocked, he's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, I'd actually have to probably put him higher than Gohan. He's probably going to be like at 250, 300,000 when it's all said and done. But right now, he's kicking around... 3,500,000, which is stronger than Vegeta, not quite as strong as Raccoon, but uh, Piccolo is also increasing his strength as well. He holds his own pretty well against Raccoon, though. He holds his own better than Vegeta did. But ultimately, he still loses. Goku shows up, saves them. Uh, he'll get a Senzu bean. Eventually, he'll hit the, like that 300,000 marker. I actually don't think he fuses with Nail because he's already with the group, which will pose a problem for the group. Piccolo can't uh, really match even first form for he, he could probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with first form frieza but he couldn't match second form frieza hell no um though together they you know gang up on him and if they're able to hold their own goku would show up uh that whole fight goes about the same i think piccolo lives long enough to you know see that happen and really more or less everything else plays about the same in dragon ball history exception being that piccolo probably is not as strong uh, canon wise as he is in the uh in, or he, strong power wise, he is in the can because he's just not as strong as he was in the historical version of Dragon Ball. So ultimately, I mean, he might, he'll probably end up losing worse to 17. He'll probably be on the losing side of 17 in the cell fight overall, even though he'd still be strong after he's in Kami. Um, ultimately, though, yeah, that's that's really all I could say about if Roshi had fought with the Saiyans. There'd be enough that they it could change a little bit, but nothing that changes anything drastically. Uh, that's why I pretty much chose it, because it's just, uh, it, I felt confident it was just going to be a one-shot, and here we are, it's a one-shot, didn't even make it to 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts on that, but let me know what you think on that what-if. If you think different, please put it in the comments below, but thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, as those who want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know, we'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who wins, Star Wars, Superhero Magic, what if, anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well, I'll get to that at some point. But thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later for who would win.